what if I told you the internet almost died before it was ever born? In 1973, the world didn't glow from screens. It hummed from machines the size of rooms, blinking lights in cold laboratories, cables snaking across floors like veins. The United States was quietly experimenting with a radical idea, computers talking to each other, not sending files, not sharing photos, just understanding one another. And it was going badly. At the time, networking was a mess of incompatible systems. Each network spoke its own private language. If one failed, the message died with it. Information shattered at the borders. Engineers watched data vanish into nothing. Packets lost like messages tossed into the ocean. The dream of a connected world felt fragile, almost naive. Here's the problem no one could ignore. Networks weren't built to trust each other, and without trust, communication collapses. Late nights stretched into early mornings. Rooms smelled of hot circuitry and burnt coffee. Engineers argued over chalkboards smeared with half-erased formulas. What happens if a connection drops mid-sentence? What if a message takes the long way around? What if the network breaks and stays broken? Then came the dangerous idea. Instead of relying on one perfect path, what if messages were broken into pieces? What if each piece could find its own way, surviving detours, failures, even chaos, and reassemble itself at the end? It sounded reckless. Elegant systems hate chaos. Funding was uncertain. Skeptics were loud. More than once, the entire experiment teetered on the edge of cancellation. Had this failed, networking might have splintered forever into isolated islands. No global web, no shared dig digital language, no internet as we know it. And then quietly something worked. Packets moved, routes failed, and the data rerouted itself. Messages arrived whole, even when the path was broken. The network didn't panic, it adapted. That moment didn't make headlines. There was no applause. Just a few exhausted engineers staring at screens, realising they'd solved a problem bigger than themselves. Because what they created wasn't just a protocol, it was a philosophy, a system designed to survive failure. That choice, made in uncertainty under pressure, became the foundation of global communication. Every message you send today still follows that logic. Break apart, wander, endure, reunite. The internet didn't emerge from certainty. It emerged from the acceptance that things will break and the determination to keep going anyway. So the next time a page loads instantly, remember this. The digital world exists because in 1973, a handful of people refused to let silence win. If this story surprised you, moved you or made you see the internet differently, please like, share and subscribe. And tell me in the comments what everyday technology do you think almost never existed?